Hello everyone, welcome back. Hopefully you have some Trek Yards love, because I'm Captain Foley. And I am Connor Cummings, and uh, if you don't like and subscribe, the Obsidian Order will come for you. Hmm. I need say no more. They disguise themselves as tailors and things like that, so Orthodontists, people, be very wary. Vets. Yes. Barbers. Gardeners. Marine biologists. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Anyway, moving on. Um, good. Today, today we're talking about... And of course about... the Kardashians. The longest <laughs> yes, game oh, the of all. That's too obvious, though. Well, that's they, why, that's why they you don't, they, think... don't, they don't blend in very well. No, anyway. they do not. <laughs> today we're here to talk about some Kardashian love. Well, love shown to the Kardashian aesthetic and all things Kardashian in Lower Decks. Yeah, it was great. I mean, obviously, spoilers. It's a holographic prison break, but they didn't skimp on the design. You know, Lower Decks is great at both using the old and inventing some new, but this is the first time we really see them do a all out here's new thing. And I made this little collage piece, which shows, yeah, it's, it's an asteroid prison facility, which looks great, with a sub command center, which looks great. And in fact, uh, a new more advanced Hideki variant, because other f other sites have been saying, oh, it's a Hideki. I'm thinking, it's not Hideki. It's almost a Hideki, but it's not quite. And especially in that um, top view, which is them rising through the, the, the set. That's not h what Hideki looks like in its top view. I know, I've got it. So close, there's a Hideki alternate, which is great. So yeah. And of course, the galore and the makeup and phaser, all brilliant, you know? Takes all the boxes. The phaser, the the the... the they keep showing me lights, the door panel controls. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. So yeah, I mean, if you're a fan of Cardassians, you must have loved this opening scene. I know I did. They really got everything right. Uh, the interrogation room, everything um, is fantastic. Would I have liked to see more? I'm sure we will at some point. And we actually called this when we saw the trailer um, that it's probably a holodeck program or something was our guess. So um, glad we got that right. And also the way it was given the ambiance at the start more cinematic, bit of flair. I mean, it, it gets more silly the more seconds it rolls on, but that's obvious. But no, it's just very effective, and it, it's, you know, we've got accustomed to the new Treks either bending the canon or doing their own thing entirely. Uh, Lower Decks is the exception, you know, they show their TOS Romulan ship. There's nothing else that statement, just no caveats. They showed it, you know, and other things. So this is a, you know... A great use. I just appreciate they can make new stuff as well. You know, these look like great new classic things. I can't really fault them. And uh, while, you know, it's a fictional thing, although maybe maybe she's basing this on other memories, that'd be kind of cool. Maybe she goes back here one time and meets the meets the uh, the lady again. Who knows? But even if it's just a one-off, a lot of effort for a simple one-off gag that worked very effectively. I love how you said it felt cinematic to begin because it definitely did. And so did the last... Well, like her Vindicta holodeck program. So if we see anything really cinematic in Lower Decks, mm -hmm. chances are it's probably a Mariner holodeck program. Oh, I like that. That's that's smart. Yep. And this sets a slight precedent because I got called out once um, in one of my many productions by showing exteriors of ships in a holodeck simulation because, well, who's looking at the, hol who's looking at the ships? But that's not the point because it's a story for the audience. And so here we have exterior shots in a holodeck situation. So, pfft. I mean, I would have external shots of ships in my holodeck programs. I like looking at ships. I like the third person fly, fly views when you're flying a ship or driving a car in a game. So, I would have that in my holodeck experience. Oh, and it was it was it was really well done. I mean, even like I said, the subtlety of the room that she's in, the interrogation room, the chair she's sitting in. If you watch the uh, chain of command where Picard is there, it's the same. Like they they literally know what they're doing as far as canon goes, and they they focus on that, which I appreciate. And even the even the hallway is very reminiscent of DS Nine. Like keep that architecture. So yeah. And my only note to that is I wish they didn't go literal with the interrogation room because it, it is just the same room given this is, you know, a decade and a half later and a different place. I wish it was a bit different, you know, sim less, similar but less that then it becomes more just fan homage because why would it be this room, you know, that's just... Well, it's, a, it's a standard interrogation room that's built in Cadassian facilities. 
now now it is whereas before it was kind of like that one special thing you know it wasn't necessarily implied to be all you know what I mean? it, yeah it kind of felt like his office in that episode in chain of command or just the one he happened to be using or you know it, it, yeah this is why it's why i like the the exterior so much because they are original they feel very faithful and yet they feel new so there's a small gripe and it really is just you know just to have that little bit of flair rather than just uh but i mean there's a you know i really had to like find a frame where you see that one establishing shot the rest of it so in close-ups that you know what it is always trying to be but they don't hearken on like the gag isn't where they are it's just the oh of course moving on which is very appropriate as well but yeah well done guys Cassian's tick and we're gonna do multiple episodes uh looking at and doing comparison renders and graphs of individual elements where they get right they get wrong they tweak they whatever we'd like to know we'd like you to like to know and of course, if you want to see more, check out all the other videos during the week and our lives. Our lives are the great, non-edited, right there in the title. They're live with you, interactive discussions on all these great topics. Have that really big fleshing out. And of course, the Super Chats, which keep the show going. Uh, you know how much we do during the new shows, and which has just begun. And I'm sure within seven days, you'll see, boy, that's a lot of videos. And it's like, yes, because we want to do them. You want to watch them. So we need those Super Chats and those Patreons and those channel memberships and those PayPals if you can. But if you can't, please do just enjoy. Like the video. Tell us you liked it. We appreciate that. And help let, let you two know that we are popular. Or at least looked at. Um, so also comment down below. Interaction is also great. That way if you can't make it to the lives. Hey, you leave a comment down here. We can see what you're thinking about what they did with the Cardassians. And by all means, tune in next time. So until then, I'm Gull Foley. Oh, and I am... Fourth in command with the. Th I have a, uh, fourth in command with two lights. Cockings. It's all good. It's all, <laughs> it's all going well. Bye, guys. Bye.